Well, it's been two months since that devastating hailstorm we saw back in the springtime. Some people are still working to get their homes back together again. Denver 7's Mike Heliopoulos tells us why it's taken so long for some people to get their roofs repaired. The sound of pounding and hammering echoes throughout the streets of Wheat Ridge. The state's worst hailstorm destroyed roofs, cars, and the siding of homes. I really didn't know what was going on. It was breaking it. Quite a shock. Bernard Feldman recalls the night of the storm. I had three windows broken and a window screen and one of the shutters. He hopes his roof will be repaired by the end of the day. We call the handful of roofing companies who are doing work in Wheat Ridge. They say it's been a slower process compared to other cities. Approving permit applications and having inspectors look at the thousands of damaged homes is a struggle for a smaller city. And the city of Wheat Ridge acknowledges they ran into trouble after the hailstorm hit. They had to reach out a state for help as far as California, contracting with other companies to bring in more inspectors. Feldman says he understands the crunch to get all these roofs fixed. He's called Wheat Ridge home for 65 years. He hopes he won't have to deal with another hailstorm again. Reporting in Wheat Ridge, Mike Iliopoulos, Denver 7. And Wheat Ridge City officials reached out to other cities in the state for inspectors, but they were just as busy there. Not because of the hailstorm necessarily, but from busy construction during the summer months.